Hey guys, Paguna here. Just wanted to show off what's on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I've been using it for a couple months now, and I think I got an appropriate setup for anyone who is looking for something clean, minimal, and slightly dark themed. Starting with the home screen, I'm using Lawn Chair 2 with Lawn Feed for the leftmost Discover panel. It's a pixel inspired launcher with a ton of extra settings for customization. The version 2 Alpha is not on the Play Store, but I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download the latest version. You can also replicate most of my setup with any other launcher, including Nova, Hyperion, Action, the OnePlus launcher, etc. In the Launcher 2 settings, I did enable the dark theme with the pure black toggle enabled to improve my battery life on this AMOLED display. It changes the background of the app drawer, folders, settings, search bar, and discover panel to black. And I also created a new tab within the app drawer called Wallpapers, since I have so many. I won't bore you with all the other smaller changes that I made in the settings, I'll just drop my home screen backup file in the description so you can download and restore my home screen easily if you want to check it out. The wallpaper that I set is a vector illustration from a wallpaper app called Unusual Wallpapers. It's titled Riding Cycle, and it's basically a girl riding her bike in a meadow on a bright sunny day. I love how it transitions from the bright blue sky to the dark ground, making room for that dock. But if you prefer something different, Unusual Wallpapers has a ton more options that work well with this setup. Just keep in mind that this app does cost $1.49. Now since the top half of the wallpaper is pretty bright, I decided to make all my other widgets dark for a bit of consistency to follow the overall dark theme. All of my widgets are run by an app called KWGT Custom Widget Maker. And you need to purchase the pro version because I'm also using two different KWGT widget packs. The widget on my home screen is a set of two cards. The top one is for music controls, allowing you to pause the song by pressing on the album cover. You can skip the track with the skip button, and tapping on the background of the card will open the appropriate music player. The other card is just for the weather, which displays the current forecast. Tapping on it will bring up the weather app. Finally, at the very top of this widget, it shows the date. Tapping on that will bring up the Google Calendar app. This widget is from an app called Waffle KWGT, which costs a dollar, and the widget name is called 81. Originally, this widget was transparent, but I changed the background colors to a solid black tone. I also added two touch actions to both cards so I could launch the music player or the OnePlus weather app. At the bottom of my home screen, I have two folders which contain some of my most used apps. The folder to the left is a Google folder, and the folder to the right is all of my favorite social apps. And on my dock, I have five of my most used apps and the default Google search bar at the very bottom. All of my icons are themed by a beautiful icon pack called Kissel, and the icons are small, simple, and the colors are pastel, providing a minimal and clean look. On the second page, there's only one widget. It's by an app called Skyline KWGT, and the widget name is called Skyline 17. It's a music player that has a pretty sick way of displaying the currently playing song. Topping on it will open the appropriate music player, and you can pause or play the background audio. Plus, it's a wide card style widget, which matches the main widget on my home screen. However, I did modify it a bit by making the corners a bit more round and changing the background color to black in the global KWGT settings. That's basically my home screen setup, a minimal and clean dark theme look. Now before I show off all of my favorite apps, I wanted to give a shout out to dbrand for sponsoring this video. The OnePlus 7 Pro is a really slippery phone. The curved edges, glass back, and giant frame make this device prone to being dropped accidentally. That's why with a dbrand skin, it can provide a ton of grip and make it easier to hold if you're not willing to use a case. They also have plenty of skin designs to give your phone a bit of personality, and they support a ton of devices. So if you want to wrap your phone up, I'll drop a link down below to check them out. Replacing and personalizing your home screen is a great way to customize an Android phone like the OnePlus 7 Pro, but it isn't the only way. You've also got a choice when it comes to apps you use. There are plenty out there that do the same thing, so you can pick and choose based on extra features or even just looks. I'm not going to show you all of my popular apps that most of you already know, such as Google Apps, Instagram, Twitter, etc. But I did want to give you a taste of some of my favorites that aren't that well known. So, Action Dash is a great way to find information on how often I use my phone and what apps I use the most. It's a great alternative to Google's digital well-being. Blackbox to automatically record all of my phone calls. Crab Hands to let me know when all of my favorite artists on Spotify release a new track or album, or if they're playing at a music festival. Dashlane, which is my favorite password manager application. Daywise, which only lets me see important notifications instantly, while every other less important notification will be shown later in batches four times every day. Demo Mode Tile to quickly enable Demo Mode for video purposes. DNS66, which is on the FDroid market to block ads within most of my apps. Beadly, which is a great RSS reader. Files go by Google to manage and free up some space on my phone. Instapapers to save and read articles offline without any ad intrusions from websites. Minimal Screen Recorder, which is my all-time favorite screen recording app. It has no ads. 
keeps the settings simple, features a beautiful material design, and is very easy to use. Otter Voice Notes is one of the best voice recorders. It can transcribe any recordings live, sync recordings to the cloud, and you can search words within your recordings, and even import pre-recorded audio to obtain the transcribed conversations. But Library is another amazing RSS reader. I can't choose between Feely or this one, so I decided to use both. Recent notifications is great for whenever I accidentally swipe away a notification without reading it. It keeps a history of all my incoming notifications along with the details. Really for Reddit is my favorite Reddit app since it looks so beautiful. Remote fingerprint unlock to remotely unlock my computer with my smartphone's fingerprint sensor. Snap Mod is a great way to add screenshots into device frames and BSCO to make my pictures look a bit better with their wide selection of photo filters. Anyways, that's everything on my OnePlus 7 Pro. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out dbrand to personalize your device. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.